Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and my name is Chirag. So today we are going to discuss how we can handle drop downs in Cypress. So there are two type of drop down. Let me write. So one type of drop down is select. We have a select tag at the starting, right? And another type of drop down where we do not have select tag. So how we can handle these two type of drop downs in Cypress. So we will discuss in this video these two topics. So let me open, let me show first how I am going to show. So this is the Facebook page and let me open inspect this drop down. So you can see this is a select tag, right? So this select tab has options and we can now select the value by using select tag and one and another type of drop down is like this if i open images this language so you can see there is no no select so how we can going to handle this type of drop down so let me open my id so I will create a new test script for drop downs. So I write drop down dot spec dot js and describe drop downs function. one test case by using select function and write my test case so first I am using by select tag how we can handle our drop downs so just open visit and go to chrome browser copy the facebook and paste now what i do i just select the drop down so currently i have to select a drop down for so for the birthday right so what i do i just go copy the x path identify the x path and there would be a day so i will write my own house x path this would be select id and day. so this is the x path for the day just go and copy by x path okay and by using select method so this is the select method by using this select method we can just select any text which is display so let me select 15 and save this and we will run and see it will work or not so what and this is drop down and double click and we will see whether 15 will be selected by cypress or not so it is opening the facebook now and now is taking some time but now you can see that 15 has been selected right so if I search here see that 15 is and currently it is 9 now it is a 15 right so this way how we can select drop down by using select tag yeah so it is so simple right 
now another test case is put is this escape and now i will show the scenario where we do not have any select tag so how we can ident uh, how we can handle drop down without select tag function and open so for this i will use different website to perform the action so my website is php travels so it is a demo site go to this way so you can see there is a text which is english currently if i go and select so there are multiple drop downs come here right okay so these two i have to use So what I do first I click on this then I go to this so let me first get the X path of this tag so just go and it has a ID I will take ID do any mistake why it is not identify the x path let me double check let me refresh this once again and now i have seen the x path so what i do i just copy this by dot x path so first i will click on this icon okay now what i do i just after clicking this icon i will get all these languages so what i do i just go and let me identify another x path so this is a language menu so i will take these two things okay for creating my x path or oh, there would be a one if i take this so okay okay i will take this two for creating our x path so just creating a new x path div is this uh, single tag okay and what i do i have to div so under div all the x path of a right so i to put this okay so i will take this x path what i do i just take the similar way i go to this uh, web element and identify all the a tag all the value of this right so this is the x path i have created so by using x path method i will identify all the web elements on it and then iterate for for each loop so what i do i just go cy dot x path put then okay this would be a cy
X path then what I do I do four each and each will take two elements or three arguments so first argument is el second is index and third is list okay now what i do so what is this method what i'm doing here so basically this is a moco framework this is a moco framework syntax by using this syntax we can iterate our each loop right so what i am doing they, this is a element el this is a index if i need to any index and this is a list so i just store in this list and then i am going to iterate okay so what now what i do i just see that first i will take el dot any var so by using var we can create a variable so it is a lang variable okay and what i do i just if lang equals to equals to cy dot rep so rep is a method by c was cypress it will give it rep our elements and then we can use click okay so this is the method let me choose any language so i'm going to choose arabi and will put over here so we will see whether this code will run or not i will save this and we'll see so now my website is going to load and it will start execution so okay i will quote any exception okay so what exception i got so this there is any exception which using by this website so currently I got the error said this error said that this is an uncaught exception which I handle which I got when I was running my test scripts. So this is an event and we can catch this event and what we do we just go and copy this code and put under index. So this where is support under support index.js so i uh, copy and paste this code so this is nothing this is the event which is created by cypress and by using this event we can pause our test scripts we can prevent you can see that by returning false we can prevent cypress from failing the test so this is the exception exception which is provided by the uh, application so let me run this script and see whether it is running or not which the code we have created so it is running now it is selecting and you can see it is selected our drop down so you can see that i have selected arabic and now it is arabic the uh, language so by this way we can handle drop down by slack tag or without slack tag. so thank you for watching this video oh, i hope this video helps you to understand cypress functionality thank you thank you for watching this video bye bye take care